I bet on this yep. industry and I happen to be right. You bet on yourself. Yeah. And anybody who's successful at multiple stages throughout their life have to bet on themselves. I agree. And if you're afraid to bet on yourself, then you're not going to do it. Always bet on myself. Always. You got to. But where I'm going with that is I, I was made fun of for like making videos, which, you know, have their elements of non-coolness from <laughs> time to time. I imagine as a wrestler, like you, you were, were your peers oh. encouraging or, or or was it like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? You, you want to be a professional wrestler, Adam? The <laughs> only person who thought I could do it was my mom. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> she was the only yeah, person. Yeah, of course. And, and from day one, bless her heart, man, she just, she was so supportive. Like, she was my rock. It, and it was just her and I against the world is what it felt like yeah. too, right? Yeah. So, you know, the, all of those elements and everything. And then when I said, you know, when I'm 10 years old saying I want to be a wrestler, she was like, oh, okay. You know, and she'd cool. sit down and she'd watch it with me. Cool. Now, when I was 17 and I won an essay contest to to get free wrestling training and i was driving down uninsured to go to wrestling training every week she was like okay do it do it uh she was a rock isn't she was it a rock. crazy how important pa parenthood so, is i mean it's just so it's just insane it like, made such a difference because everybody at my school like i tried to hide it from people at school because i started training with still in high school right you know like i was voted most likely to become wwe champion and all of those things so it got out and people would come oh. to like weekend shows and i'd be like oh, i'm in spandex yeah, and, yeah, yeah. uh hi todd <laughs> how's it going you know and ah oh, there's there's bethany lee oh, oh man you know, like, <laughs> oh man that thing yeah, right of course so um but i I, I grew past it. I eventually, I went to college for um, radio broadcasting because I thought it would help me with my inflection, my tone. Oh, cool. That was the idea for that. And, and a week after I graduated, I got my first call to do a WWF match in Hamilton Cops Coliseum, May 10th, 1996. Oh, a week after I finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob Spark, Plug Holly, first match on. Razor Ramon was at the curtain. Hey, Ultimate Warrior was at hey, the curtain. Hey. All those guys were at the curtain waiting for me to fail, I think. And... I got through the back and they're like, wow, kid, it was a good job. Nice. I was like, that's a tough crowd. Okay, I'm doing something right. That here. had to be a massive oh. boost for you. Razor pulled me aside and he goes, man, kid, you got it. You just got to figure out how to work in front of 10 and take it to 10,000. Yeah. How did how did that feel for you? Because I, I, I think everyone has those moments where they look back and they get that credibility yeah. boost from a meaningful person. I mean, he was a big one for me. I've had a, a number of other guys along the way that have kind of giving me that boost how did that feel for you it's a validation yeah you know and and once you get that validation from people who have succeeded it's to, like a, it's to like, that it's degree like a, it's like i'm not crazy anymore. yeah, yeah. okay yeah. all right <laughs> there, there's something to this yeah. like the feelings that i'm having are warranted because other people are seeing it yeah and i just got those ten thousand people who did not know who the hell i was i got them to react now all i did is go out and dr dance in a very Caucasian fashion. And I, I did this horrible running man because like, I just got to get a reaction. Yeah, and but, they all started booing. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a reaction. But I got a reaction. And you got that validation. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the, that spandex started feeling a little bit more comfortable. A little bit right? more comfortable. Yeah. A little bit. Isn't that crazy how bit. that works? Yeah. Yeah. And and um, and then from there, it was just, God, what a wild ride. Like I, I But I, I truly, I can look to like wrestling. I met my wife here. Yeah. You know, I have two kids because we met here like my entire life the, the the entire trajectory of my life has been changed because of this job and then to not have it for nine years and get it back dude i don't i don't look like every nanosecond i'm doing this i appreciate it because i know like that it can be gone hey there if you like the clip make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right